Hello dudes and welcome back to another Windcraft secret discovery guide. Today we're taking a look at the Nessak Tundra ones. There's 10 of them including the ultimate discovery and uh, well what can I say except that um, there will be timestamps for each and every one in the description down below and you can also see the coordinates on the screen to the spots uh, we go to and also uh, there will be the level minimum also written on the screen for each discovery. Other than that, let's go. So the discovery we're doing is Explorer's Corruption Study. Now we're starting in Nessak and we're going to make our way out of the Nessak Forest by going north here. We're going to follow the northern road until we get out of the forest basically. Here where it turns we can just continue uh, right on north here until we can start to see the bridge here to Elkern. Here we'll turn and we'll head over to these corruption spikes right here. Now there will be four corruption spikes and it doesn't matter in which order you do them but um, you have to do it for all four. So what you do is that you enter and once here we kill the mob that spawns and then we wait for this freezing effect once that has started we can continue over to the next one and we kill this mob wait for the freezing to start and go on to the third one this will be and there's the fourth one and kill that one wait for the freezing there we go. Dodge these mobs because they're not part of the discovery. And here we are, the last one. We kill this one. And now we wait here because a teleport will open in the bottom. And it doesn't matter in which order you do them, it's the fourth that will always have the uh, teleport. So it doesn't matter if it's this or the other ones. And there we go, Discovery Found, Explorer's Corruption Study. And here you can read the Explorer's, Explorer's Journal, and here's the exit. Here we are, and this road will take you back to Nessak, which is over that way. Next discovery will be the Wolf Temple. We're starting in Nessak, and we're going to head uh, east here, over towards the Bob's Tomb. But instead of heading towards the tomb, which is right over there, we're just going to continue straight here over to this opening here in the mountainside. And what we're going to do is that we're going to climb the mountain. So we continue climbing a bit. Here we are. There's the temple. But before we enter, we're going to head to this cave here right at the left side and we're gonna click these uh, remains here there we go you get eight bones but we only need four I'd suggest that you divide them up into four different slots so you don't accidentally uh, use up two when you're supposed to only use up you know one per time because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna feed these wolves here so you only want to give one or wolf but you might misclick if you have them all stacked and there's a specific order we're gonna start with the one on the largest pedestal and then working our way down to the smallest so that one and then that one and then that one and lastly this one so we're gonna start give you one now I misclicked oh there we go okay, it came back Give him that one, click on that one, and there we go. The door opens, and we can enter. Here we are. And this is the discovery. You can read the engraved stone there. The exit is right over here. We just click on this lever, and we'll leave. And Nessak is right over that way. So the discovery we're doing now is called Frozen Cave Hideout. We're starting in Nassac and we're going to make our way 
south here to take this bridge. And we're going to follow the road over to the east, uh, not the east, to the west here. So we're going to take a right and then we're going to follow this road until we get to these two large statues here. Now we're going to head over to the one on the left here where you can see all the buttons. And what we're going to do is that we're going to follow the buttons upwards basically. And here we go. And here you can jump over to statue and continue the parkour. There we go. And we continue upwards here. And then the parkour continues up on the mountain a bit and back up on the statue. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to this spear here, click the wooden button, and we're gonna climb the spear. Now this should work for all classes, um, because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make our way over to this one. And how you do it is basically by using your movement spell. You can charge and if you're a warrior you can use your totem movement spell you can uh, use the assassin um, charge basically uh, or the archer one or you can teleport i'd recommend that you um, kind of aim a bit towards this side here so you don't overshoot albeit as far as i know there should be barriers here blocking you and don't stand on the spear too long because that will happen uh, I will probably have to go back to click it again. But, no worries. Let me just do this again. So, there we go. And make our way to the arm. And once we're on the arm, we're gonna click this button. They're gonna form this cross here. And the foot on this one will open. You can basically just climb down the mountain or jump down. It teleports you down if you jump down. And then we're going to enter the cave here that opens. We head down and here we are. Discovery found frozen cave hideout. And we basically just exit by going out the same way. And here is a button if it's already closed when you leave. There we go, and the sack is this way. So the discovery we're doing is Nilrim's Sealed Letters. We're starting in Nesak and we're going to make our way south here and head to the west here after this bridge. So we take a right here and then we follow the road until we pass the statues here. So here are the statues. And then we make our way over to the uh, Great Bridge. But instead of entering the bridge, we're going to take a right here. We're going to enter this hut. Kill the mob in here. And we wait for the key to spawn. But we wait so we can grab two of them. There we go. We have two keys. And then we exit. And then we head to the right here. To this kind of tower building what we do here is we click with the key to open with one of the keys and then we use the launch pad here basically climb up and up here oh. yeah that didn't work out oh. okay once we're up here we take the final oh come on that's just cruel. Nope, not boosting me enough. There we go. Take the final one. And here we are. Don't exit until you have pressed on this pressure plate here. And it says Nilrim's spell has weakened. And then we exit. And then we're going to head over to the adjacent side here. And that's why you have two keys because we're gonna open the similar tower building here with the key. So click here. 
Here we go. And use the same launch pad um, method, basically. And, oh, come on. There we go. And don't exit. Step on the pressure plate. It's gonna say Nilrim spell weakens, and then it has been broken. Now we wait. We're teleported. And here we go. There we go. And once that has happened, we use the exit and we head over to where the explosion took place, which is in the middle of the road here. Here we go. And we drop down into the teleport. Discovery found Nilrim's seal letters. We have all of these letters here that you can keep. Uh, and read, of course, if you want to. And here is the exit. There we go. And Nesak is this way. The discovery we're doing now is Torn in Twain. We're gonna start in Nesak here and head south here towards the uh, House of Twain. So we continue south here and then we follow the southern road here. Here we go. I'm gonna continue past this area here and follow the road until we get to these ruins here right at this bridge and we're gonna enter these ruins and go to the very back here over to the waterfall jump on this rock here and you can see these pur purple particles here forming a ring basically just jump into them we get launched to the top and then we jump on the ice here and click on the uh, cobblestone. 550 after portal, 450 years ago. This is absolutely ridiculous. You know it is, you can't say it isn't. The people can't defend themselves, you've seen them try. All it ends up, all it ends up doing is making our lives harder. Why shouldn't I ask for just a tiny bit of compensation in return? A mere pittance more than gratitude. You can't fill someone's stomach with kind words, father. Theric, listen. Don't you dare change the topic. I've listened to what you've said, and it's all nonsense. Platitudes and non-answers. Never any straight conversations with you. Never. Not once. I, I can only warn you, Theric. Leaving us will be the province's end. I brought you all together for a reason. Think of the consequences of your actions. Huh. As, as, as though you are. I'm out of the thick of it. Saving this province? What have you done except put a roof above our heads? You hardly taught me anything. Dwendal hardly taught me anything. Riccio hardly taught me anything. And Mile actively makes me stupider every time he opens his mouth. Open your eyes and knock the wax out of your ears. This can't continue as it is. And there we go, discovery found, torn in twain. And how we exit is basically just by jumping down the waterfall. And Nesak is following the road here up to the north. So the discovery we're doing now is a deathly warning. We're starting in Lusico. So basically if you head from Nesak over to the west, and at the intersection where the uh, large statues are, you take a left and head down the path and you reach Lusago. So, we're starting here and we're going to make our way out of the city or village or whatever you want to call it. And then we take a left here over to this frozen river. And right as the ice starts, we're going to dive down underneath it. Yes, underneath it. And we're basically basically going to uh, swim to the very end here oh, yeah. teleport can be a bit weird sometimes but you can use your movement spell or swim till you reach this cavern here at the end and here we click on the ice to break it there we go drop down and discovery found a deathly warning and you can read this note here and here's the exit, your exit, and 
we basically spawn right next to the Tower of Ascension. And if you continue here to the right, here is the Frozen River and there's Lusica. So the discovery we're doing now is the Lone Telescope. We're starting in Lusico. You can get here by heading west from Nesak and at the intersection at the large statues, take a left and follow this path here. And once you're here, we're going to exit here by taking this northern path. And right here at this bridge, we're going to take a right where we can see this ice clearly forming a staircase in the mountainside. And we're going to climb here. And basically just follow this path here marked out by arrows. So take another right here and continue upwards. And here we are you can see the telescope right here and what we do is that we click on it and click on it again zooming in from this view you can see various carvings along the side of the Tower of Ascension it seems to depict something falling from the sky they look sort of like the crystal on top of the tower actually the tower may have been erected to hold it or to honor it it's unclear Looking at the crystal is giving you a strange headache. It feels like something is leaking out of your mind. Perhaps it's time to stop using the telescope. And there we go. Discovery found the lone telescope. And you can either just climb down the mountain here or head down the path. Lusico is right over there. So the discovery we're doing is the pottery wheel. We're starting in Lusico. You can get here. Uh, to this frozen valley here by heading west from Nesak and at the large uh, statues take a left at the intersection and head down the path. So once in Luzico we're gonna follow this northern road here. This is the road you uh, walk when you get here from Nesak and at this intersection here where you can enter the cave for uh, frostbite and leave uh, the valley. We're going to continue up to the left here along the mountainside. So we basically continue this path here and follow it until we get to all of these flower pots. Once here, we're going to click on this barrel that has this clay on it and we're going to get one fresh clay and we're going to click this pottery wheel with it. And here we go. 425 years ago. Sir Theoric, if you, um... If you have a moment, your tribute is here. Good. Thank you. Good to see some who honestly respect what I'm trying to do for all of you. Was there anyone else? Um, no. There there wasn't. Not this time. They, they feel like you're taking too much from them, which I don't agree with, but ask them if they would prefer their money or their lives. Am I not protecting them? Is it really so much to ask? That I get something in return. We we know. We, we told them that too. Uh, we're sorry. You aren't the ones who need to apologize. I'm aware it's voluntary contribution. But do they have any idea how difficult it is to cast magic like this regularly? And there we go. Discovery found pottery wheel. And if you accidentally got any additional clay. You can just drop it. And we can basically drop down the mountainside here and Lusico is right over it that way. So the discovery we're doing now is Lusico's secret library but we're not in Lusico we're gonna start in Rymek. Now this first step here is collecting five 
um, gunpowder, which you can get from uh, going west out of uh, Rymek over to this uh, dead prospector camp here. I'm gonna put down a totem uh, just to make it a bit easier for me. And it will take around five to 10 minutes approximately to get the five um, gunpowder that you will need for the uh, next step of the discovery. And there we go. We got five gunpowder. Now, it t didn't take too long, but I do have a totem, so expect that it will take between 5 to 10 minutes-ish. And once you have him, you can head back to Lusico. So, once in Lusico, we're gonna take these five gunpowders, and we're gonna head up these stairs here to the left. And here you can find the uh, explosive shops. We're gonna buy one dynamite for those five uh, gunpowders head back down the stairs and at this ice patch here in the wall we're gonna drop the dynamite on this gray carpet and wait for it to explode there we go and now we enter there's the teleport and here we go discovery found Lusico's secret library now you can read up on all the information in here and once you want to exit, make sure to also grab the loot chest here. There we go. And exit basically by leaving through where we entered. And here you can find this button. Click it to ignite another TNT. And we exit. So it's time for the ultimate discovery of the Nessak secret discoveries. It's called the Twain's Downfall. Now you're gonna have to have completed all the previous nine discoveries. We're starting in Nessak and we're gonna make our way south over to the Twain Mansion area. So we follow this southern road here. And here we go. And right at the quest start for the House of Twain quest, we're gonna look over to the left here where you can see this ruin in the middle of the ocean. We do the small parkour where you can swim if you want to. Here we go. Oop, oop. And there we go, discovery found the Twain's downfall. Now, if you don't want to trigger this uh, cinematic run, please don't enter. But if you enter, we trigger the cinematic. And I'd recommend that you uh, watch it because it's cool. Twain's Graveyard. 570 after portal. Surprise, surprise, Theo, you're late. Don't even start, Ricky. You're really into being cold, huh? Look, we're all here for the same re- Don't touch me! Are you alright? You shouldn't have done that. Now you've done it, Riccio. Theo, stop. Just this once. Stop. Make me.
Thanks, Ricky. Don't worry about it. Let's finish this, shall we? Yeah, Dad should have done this a long time ago. Enough. Are you out of your minds? You were about to kill your brother. I, you're, you're right, we, you should leave, all of you, this isn't what being a twain was about, hmm, none of us are twains, not me, not you, we're an old man's delusion. Mile, I, I know Ricky. Just, just go. Dad, I'm sorry. Well, at, at least you can't say my funeral was boring. What does all of this mean? The twins are over? The Twains ended the day Theoric left us. You should stay here though, there is one who will one day need your help. And there we go, that was it for one of the most epic cinematics, one of the epicest fights in win. Exit is right here, just open the door and leave and boom, there we go. And that was it for the Nessak Tundra Secret Discovery Guide. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you want to. You can also subscribe if you want to. I'm not forcing you to do any of those things. Anywho, I hope you're having a great day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.